Hey, what's up, guys? Agent here, bringing you another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's been a couple of hours since I recorded. I just watched the latest Game of Thrones episode because, well, you know, reasons. And honestly, I am vastly disappointed in that series. Everyone was hyping it up as if it was the fucking greatest thing that's ever been created, but it's not that great. I don't know. Just... It might just be my cynical... My cynicism speaking, but... Eh. The small glade showed signs of brutal troll feasts. It was littered with and uh, littered with gnawed bones, and ground was furrowed with marks from huge feet. The trees held gouges from sharp claw marks, and the branches had been adorned with the skulls of humans and animals, both old and new. Unfortunately, the trolls' tracks vanished outside the glade, but we could tell that the trolls used this place often. We shall prepare an ambush. The trolls were really taking their time. The sun rose higher and higher, but we heard nothing from the woods. But bird song and the buzzing of insects. The fruitless waiting began to tire us out. Amiri killed the time by sharpening an already sh razor sharp blade. Octavia looked around impatiently, tugging on her long, ha long hair occasionally. She was clearly bored out of her mind. Let's continue waiting. As the sun set, the glade was still empty. Darkness spread across the scraps of the trolls' feast, and the, and the grass began to fill with the dim lights of fireflies. Having caught a fly, fi, firefly, Octavia entertained herself by watching it crawl across her slim fingers. Let's continue fucking waiting, motherfucker. Ambushes take time. We continued waiting in the hope that holy shit, how? How? What's your problem, trolls? Octavia yawned. Are you coming or not? Keep waiting. With little hope remaining, we decided to give the trolls one more chance to show up. The sky began to lighten. The hooting owls gave way to twittering morning birds. We rubbed our eyes as, as we looked around the glade yet again. Suddenly, a loud cracking sound came from the bushes. Alert now, we reached for our weapons, but instead of trolls, what we saw jump into the glade was a huge deer. Arrows buzzed through the air, and the animal fell to the ground. It seemed that the, the ambush hadn't been a complete waste, at least. Did that really just... Ah! Cast it already, come on. Wow! Ooh! Dexterity damage? No, constitution damage. Fuck! And now I have to fight them. Your money or your life. You're using it wrong. Okay, I don't need you doing that anymore. Ha ha! Hmm. That was not nearly as difficult as I initially believed it would be. 
Ha ha! What do you have for me, Cassiel? Great news, your grace! Magar Varn, Lord of Varnhold, wants to form an alliance with you and establish a trade route between your lands. Here is Lord Varn's letter, see for yourself. Was that it? Bad news, your grace. There is a thief within your close circle. A significant shortage has been discovered within the treasure. You mean treasury? An investigation is already underway. The guilty party will soon be brought before your judgment. Do you have something to say, Lindsay? I, um, I think I might know something about this, um, sad... No, shocking! Most shocking event. Can we discuss it one-on-one, -on -one, maybe? I'll wait for you at the inn after council. Okay, then. I have never imagined she would find herself connected to such a crime. 